A little over a month ago, we started the modding challenge, and we started with a helicopter. We took a pretty simple, normal-looking transport military helicopter, and then we modified it. Not once, but twice, and we ended up making just an absolute monstrosity of an aircraft. It was silly, it was stupid, it was incredibly fun, and it's available on the workshop. Today, we're going to be partaking in the second Ravenfield modding challenge. Now, the last video got over 700 comments, and I want to encourage you guys to use your imaginations and whatever crazy vehicle that you think would be fun to mod in Ravenfield, we'll put it in the comments below. And if you see what you like, make sure to give it an upvote. King Creep a lot. Well, he was just saying that the modding community is awesome, and I agree. But Banana Man said that we should add a dual Zuber class hovercraft with all kinds of different weapon systems. And we're gonna be starting with the hovercraft. Now, this is a pretty classic US hovercraft. It has enough room to, well, as you can see, we've got 20 troops and a tank on top of it. This thing is an absolute beast. Now up ahead of us, remember that this is phase one of the challenge. So we're just outlining the rules. Up ahead of us is a heavily fortified port facility. So the idea is can this hovercraft take the beach or do we <clears throat> need to modify it? Now this thing is hauling absolute butt. That's because, well, we've got very little resistance against the water because we're a hovercraft, but we're a little bit weakly armed. So we've got to figure out where we need to hit on this beach. Now, we do have air cover, but it's a little bit far behind. We could have waited for it, but that isn't nearly as exciting as just charging headfirst in and getting hit in the face with rockets. There's sort of a dock right ahead of us. I'm gonna be aiming for that. Now, if you look in the lower left, you're gonna see I have one action I can perform other than driving. There's no weapon systems. I can deploy the tank. So I'm pretty sure that just drops the bridge, or the ramp rather, the tank proceeds out to just shoot at people and all the infantry follow it, I'm hoping. Oh, we just took a hit, and it looks like we lost about half of, no. Oh, never mind. All the infantry are ramming against the gate right now. Oh, that's a rocket. That's not good. All right, so I just deployed, and we've got like 18 men here. The tank launches up ahead of us. Nobody's necessarily driving it, and we're down to 15 men. We've already taken five casualties. There's the enemy defenders here. I'm, I'm going in slow motion because usually I'm going to die, and then it's going to be a little bit difficult to take the beach. Now, that being said, we did get a foothold. We took this flag right here. The enemy looks like, well, they're bombing us. And this was a pretty good first attempt. In fact, it was more than adequate to take the initial beach. But what if we increase the difficulty and went from hovercraft mark one to mark two? So the difficulty goes a little bit in the favor of the enemy. Now, as we head down in this amphibious assault ship, there we go. See, cause that's the thing, right? We were immediately hit by rockets. So now we have an armored covering and not only that, but I have a gunnery platform. So now I'm able to shoot at the defenders on the beach. We're a little bit better protected. It's pretty cool, but it's not absolutely ridiculous. Just wait till you see, oh my gosh. Wait till you see the third version. So we're approaching the beach. This time we've got some fighters going over us already. So that's fantastic. Obviously we got hit with missiles, but now that we are getting a missile lock and we're getting a missile lock warning, you can see the missile right there. It should be coming down any moment now. A few moments later. Oh, here it is, okay. All we have to do is drop smoke and it loses its ability to target us. <laughs> so not only do we have armor, but we have active deterrence. Deploy. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting absolutely shredded. I probably shouldn't have gotten out. I really wanted to see how cool it would be to see 20 men <laughs> jumping out the front, but all that seems to be happening. Is everybody got wrecked? You're kidding me. All right, we got everybody in here this time. Actually, we're missing, I think last time we, did we have 24? I need to use this auto cannon. I mean, it's here for a reason. Yeah, needless to say, we needed to try variant two a second time. I mean, it is the second one, right? That's two, two, it works. We just had a roll of bad luck <laughs> and bad decision making on my part. 
Men are already opening up with small arms. I'm gonna see if we can't wait a little bit longer. That's probably the missile that's gonna seek on us. Yep, it's coming around, it's coming around, it's coming around. Does it look like it's gonna miss? Nope, it's curving in. That's a pretty good missile. And drop the smoke. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh gosh, I wasn't watching where I was going. Eat auto cannon. Deploy the tank. And everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Go, 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 go. Don't die this time. All right, I'm going to drop meds because I already took a hit. Now, we've got 20 men left. I don't know where everybody is. All right, the defenders are pretty well entrenched right here. There are a lot of them. We turned up the difficulty and, well, guess what? It's more difficult because that's how it works. Now, luckily, I'm still better than Ravenfield AI, at least for the most part, until I get shot in the pelvis right there. Oh, man, I want collateral shots. I want depleted uranium bullets. What I need to do is send the 11 men to attack the docks and i need to enter this tank hey we got guys on the beach let's do this okay all right i'm in the tank oh my god i immediately got hit with an anti-tank weapon and i dropped some smoke here to clear the advance needless to say using what is the equivalent of like sort of like an m1 abrams looking tank maybe it's a leopard oh my god look at this guy just sitting next to my tank with a rocket that's illegal buddy Oh my gosh, I think my own guy shot me. <laughs> and the AI has taken command of this pretty impressive looking assault vehicle. So you know how Battlebit Remastered is just kind of blowing up right now? I played it and I wanna know if you guys think we should do community events. I think the answer is yes. Yes, we should do that. But imagine if Ravenfield had massive multiplayer like that. This is why we need to make Baronfield. So if you're a talented developer, reach out to me. But I can't imagine how amazing, I can actually imagine how amazing this would be if this was multiplayer with all of you guys. We've taken the beach. The modified one was even more impressive, but now it's time to show you the third version of the hovercraft. Now, mind you, it's gonna be so big, it's not really gonna be able to fit in this area. So we're gonna actually have to mod this map <laughs> and change where it spawns. Now we're gonna have to go to Mark III, which is so big you can't even see it in the preview here. Now first we have to find where this thing is. We partner with the talented modder Sofa for this mod. So yeah, it's not in the normal uh, garage area. It's right here. And look at how massive this thing is. <laughs> There are 45 men. Okay. It's got twin Vulcans to shoot down airplanes on the side. It's got two auto cannons in the front. We're carrying 45 infantry and what looks like three tanks in the middle. We've also got, I'm pretty sure these are just like missile systems. Yeah, I've got cruise missiles. I don't control any of the cannons or anything like that, but I have four cruise missiles, which work incredibly interesting all right so let's get a target lock fire the cruise missiles we've got a lock on the beach that should be a decent way to well you know weaken the area now you're gonna notice we're a lot slower than we normally are because we're freaking huge it's got four turbines on the back of this thing the vulcans are going to shoot down these planes or at least attempt to now i'm gonna rearm my cruise missiles here i'm gonna sit out at sea and just act as a battleship oh my gosh the enemy's hitting us with so many rockets now i don't have any countermeasures to deal with that do you see them i don't really see anybody out there oh there they are no i think that's here we go i'm gonna fire cruise missiles over there hey there it is all right now I've got four kills to my name using two cruise missiles. Not the most effective if you were to consider how expensive those things are. I think what's happening is there are guys defending this beach, but they're all dead. Oh, there we go. We've got a target lock. They're firing little missiles at me. I'm firing Tomahawk cruise missiles back. And I just got, what is that, nine kills? Oh man, that helicopter is messing us up. Now, all the infantry are protected. We have taken two casualties, so maybe they were too close. Look at this. Look at how ridiculous this is. <laughs> As this thing rolls onto the beach. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think it's time to deploy the tanks. And we've already taken the point. So like defend the docks, gentlemen. Get out, get out, get out. All right. I've deployed one tank. Oh, I see how this works. Now this thing is taking a beating. All right. We dropped the other tank. All right. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. I'm going to take command of a tank. We're going in slow-mo to hopefully not die. So now everybody should be getting out. Oh my gosh. They just hit us with an airstrike that killed half of my men. But we've taken the flag point. 
<laughs> that was absolutely nuts. Guys, get out of the boat. The auto cannons are still going. Now we have suffered more casualties than the enemy, but you know what? There's two other points to attack and we still have infantry. You know what we should have done? Is attacked each of the three beachheads and dropped a tank. Also using cruise missiles from the beginning properly is massive. When the guns open up, the auto cannons and the Vulcans go, oh my gosh, we also have twin machine guns. <laughs> Cause of course we do. Ooh, ooh, jeez, the amount of anti-tank weapons. All right, we're gonna take this flag like immediately and I'm gonna drop a tank off. Gentlemen, take the beach, hold the beach. We're gonna update the plan here. Uh, defend that, please. There we go, reinforcements have arrived. It looks like the left one kind of pulled out men. Uh, let's switch to cruise missiles and soften this area. Firing cruise missiles so close. I destroyed an anti-aircraft and some vehicles. There we go. Oh, I killed a guy named Asset. You are a true asset to the team. I'm sorry you're dead. I love how the cruise missiles will just lock on that last place. <laughs> Drop the tank off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're almost running it over. We're so big, it can still go. And attack the west end. How many men are gonna do that? I think I've gotta get out. Where's my tank? It's, it's under this. <laughs> Uh-oh, the hovercraft too big. Let's back it up. Oh no, we're pulling the tank with us. Oh, this is... This is not how we wrote it up in the playbook. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think the thing's drifting a little bit. Guys, I need you to help me take this flag point. I guess the AI still has the AI, right? Attack the West End. Guys, don't leave me. We lost a battalion. Are we, we're taking more casualties than them? Oh, hold on. <laughs> That's an only in Battlefield moment, but it's like, duh, 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 duh. Only in Ravenfield. Okay, well, you know what? We did it. Ooh. Right in his neck. Down to eight bullets, and I'm surrounded. <gasps> We're gonna take the flag. How did that work? The hovercraft is still alive and giving us covering support and air defense. I'm gonna go get back in it and take that third beach. I took an errant shot to, I guess, the big toe because I'm not dead yet. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's still just absolutely demolishing everybody. All right, I guess. We need to update the plan so we defend that point too and just swim close and press spam F. Yeah, till we're back inside. All right, we've got one cruise missile. So somebody was firing them all. Now we're starting to take, oh, look at those cannons just destroy that armored vehicle over there. Can you imagine if this thing was in a multiplayer battle? Like that doesn't happen in first person shooter games and I feel like it should. All right, hold on. Cruise missile out. This is the last beach. <laughs> We're getting this thing right up on top. Deploy. Get everybody out. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Now the doors come out. Everybody should be dropping in. Wait, did they kill everybody? No, we took the point. Look at this thing. Okay, <laughs> the map says we've, oh, they've contested this point. Oh, that's why. Well, we lost our hovercraft. So needless to say, the vehicle's impressive. We took two out of the three beaches. Remember that this is going to be available for free on the Steam Workshop and a big shout out and thank you to Sofa for making this mod. Now it's up to you guys to come up with what we do in the modding challenge next time. We've done a helicopter and we've evolved that. We've done a hovercraft and we've evolved that. There's a lot of other weapon systems and vehicles we could try. So leave your best ideas in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy the video and want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.